closed can.
So since moving into my new house in July, I have decluttered everything. It's one really easy way of getting rid of a bunch of stuff is moving. <laughs> I do not recommend going through a divorce to do it though. <laughs> Anyways, I'm refilling all of my favorite things. Cotton rounds the kids use more than me. I only use an air fresher in my garage now. That way I always give a good first impression. Now, I don't know if you guys all know a trick, but how do you not spill this anyway? always spill it everywhere. Yes, you saw that right. That was cheese soap for dogs, shampoo and conditioner. The Lysol click gels are my favorite part of doing the toilets. Every time you open the lid, you get a little fresh scent of grapefruit. Also notice I don't have to clean my toilets as much, which <laughs> that's a great find. I can't believe I did a video with three freaking toilets. I was too lazy to clean the basement bathroom, so I just left that one be. Oh, my kids are obsessed with these pickles and everything else in this snack fridge. And the laughing cow cheese, lots of questions about this. Great with grape, yellow peppers. And little Logie Bear loves the snacking cheese. I grew up in an ingredient home. Not a bad thing. Mom made everything from scratch. Something I'll never be able to do. I had the best childhood.
how it feels like from day to day. Their life is just on repeat. You just wake up in the morning, you do the same stuff every day, you go to sleep, and it repeats all over again. We all love a good routine, but sometimes it's a good idea to venture out of that routine and do something a little new. Well, this was filmed on Tuesday, so this is Taco Tuesday, the kids' favorite night of the week. They love tacos. If I made this every night, it would make them happy. And quite honestly, I don't know why I don't make it every night. This is the one meal that the kids will get up to the table, they will not complain, and they will eat their entire dish. Sweet little Rudy looking for some gibbets that have dropped on the ground. Then all of a sudden the kids are gone and it's time for me to wipe down those counters, something that I feel like I do all day long. I give everything a good wipe down and that's pretty much all I'm going to do for cleanup for tonight other than those dishes in that sink. Magically Logan is dressed and my brown shadow follows closely behind. Now you can see me with my glasses on and look how terrible I'm squinting at the TV still. Who else loves having an astigmatism? <laughs> Logan is just a sweet boy. He hates being covered up. You can see here I cover him up and he's like, what are you doing, mother? Now it's time to get some dishes done. I have about five minutes to get this done. The girls are downstairs getting themselves ready for bed, which is great. They're very self-sufficient. I don't have to do much with them. And today I had to make them lunches, so <laughs> your girl had to wake up about 30 minutes early to make lunches. It was my favorite part of the morning. Favorite part of my entire day, actually. It's not picture mirror here. Is puncturing my thumb with that knife. Is really great. That's what I get when I'm trying to rush. You gotta take it easy, take it slow so you don't get injured like me. I have very poor posture, so here you can see me stooping over, trying to release the pressure off my lower back. Don't come at me for giving a dog a bath in the sink. I will sanitize the sink after. Some good bleach. For now, the dog is small enough to take a bath in the sink. He loves getting a bath because he knows, oh, this is conditioner, by the way, but he knows that he's gonna get a nice warm towel at the end of this bath. And since he's been such a good boy, he's gonna get a little treat treat at the end. I usually get him one warm towel, and then when that is wet, I get a fresh, nice warm towel out of the dryer again, uh, just to make sure he stays warm, because he is only about nine to 10 pounds, and he gives me a good wink. That's when I know I did my job right. We're gonna let him shake off all of his wetness all over the floor and the window here in a second, and then we're gonna give him a good treat, because he deserves it. He's a good boy. Only good boys reside in this house. Hope you guys had a wonderful day.
wanted to take you guys on a little day in the life that I don't have my kids around. They're at their dad's for the day. In the 45 minutes of them getting picked up, I picked up these groceries, got some Starbucks, filled up the car with gas, and washed it. I just cleaned out the fridge, so it looks pretty empty. I still have all my other prep to do. This snack drawer, this cold snack drawer, the kids love if they're in the week. And honestly, I love it too because if they need a little snack, they can self-regulate their food. Madeline said she reorganized this cupboard. Now I don't know where anything is, so I just threw everything in there. Prepping fruit is like my arch nemesis. I hate doing it. It's so annoying, but the kids love fruit. This is like the weirdest strawberry I've ever seen in my life. Um, it got fed to the birds. Nobody likes sugar snap peas but me, so I bought them. Had to make sure I eat those throughout the week. Kids love fruit. I just love that they love fruit too because it's so good. TikTok, that is not a knife that I'm using. It is a spoon. <laughs> Kids also like grapes. I hate grapes because I'm paranoid that they're going to choke and die. Yeah. Here's me restocking the rest of this. Riley loves apples. And apples are good too because they're good in fiber. And we all know kids are always constipated. Lots of leftover fruit. Lots of leftover fruit. My grandma Kathy used to fold her plastic bags like this and save pretty much every single one of them. Plus, every time my mom comes over, she's always asking for plastic bags. I think she does it on purpose now. But she just does it even if she doesn't need it. I swear all I do is just wipe down counters all day long. Don't forget to underneath because kids like to wipe their dirty little mongrel hands all over everything, I feel like. And me on my way to do my favorite thing of the day, go and pick up the dog poop. Yep, that is me. Oh, well, this is like the perfect time to do it because all the little turds are frozen. Now I have some laundry to do, so Rudy, of course, follows me everywhere. At one point in time, I thought I accidentally put Rudy in the dryer. That would have been catastrophic. Also, stop using softener, people. Just use white distilled vinegar. Way better for your clothes. This is my favorite bathroom in the whole house. It's, um, it's a rarity, you know? And I'm only 5'8". Those things come to, like, my knees, those countertops. I always make sure this bathroom is clean for the kids. And this dog literally follows me everywhere. Look at him. He's over there to the left. He just stands there waiting. He's such a sweetie. But I have to have this house, like, spotless when these kids come home because I want it just to be about us, not about the cleaning and prepping for the week for them. Remember, it's their childhood, not mine. There's Rudy still following me around. Do not come at me for the ceilings. The drop ceilings were removed. If you think your ceilings don't look like this without the top, you're mistaken. Adeline's room is so cute. I love it. There's Rudy again waiting, perched up, waiting for me. It was like 1.30 by this time. I've been cleaning for four hours. It was at least two hours worth of filming, so I thought I deserved some prime rib. Only half of it. And of course, Meyer didn't have milk and some other items, so I had to go to Walmart. That was fun. So to start the week, our house is pretty much spotless. Now when I go to pick up the kids, I have to leave soon because it's a 40-minute drive to get them. Uh, they come home and the house is totally reset. We could just sit down and relax. They have nothing they need to do when they get home. So they can just sit, chill, we can eat some food, and enjoy each other's company. Plus it helps me out too because clean home equals a clean mind in my opinion. Ugh, I just love his room. It's so cute, the little Loki bear. Anyways, cheers to a new year. Hopefully 2024 does this better than 23. <laughs>
You've heard the ASMR version, now let's hear the commentary. My girl Nikki up there giving me a boost of confidence. We all gotta have a Nikki in our life. But let's get down to cleaning this nasty thing. This was all done while my kid took a power nap. And I skipped my lunch, so I need a little bit of bloom to give me the energy that I needed to finish up this task. And I love mixing it with orange juice. It's one of my favorites. This is me just picking up the drain plug. I understand there's probably better ways that this could be done, but this is what I have to work with. You can see I started with the slippers and I ended up going barefoot. Because why not? I grew up on a farm, so I've stepped in much worse things. A lot of the dirt went down the drain, and I shoveled the rest out. And then this little vacuum here picked up the rest. It's one pass is pretty impressive. I don't know what was coming off of my car, but it stained a couple areas of my floor. Nothing a little bit of the pink stuff. My carpet cleaner scrubby can't get off. I do this about once a month. And the only reason why I did it today is because my little Logie Bear turned four. And with the driveway being full of ice, I didn't want him riding his new bike indoors. I have this beautiful garage, so why not? The fact that he thought that the box was his gift. Look at this. <laughs> Pure enjoyment. He hopped right up on that thing and took off. The shirt backwards and all. My little guy.